Hi, I'm Kylie. Today we are continuing my reaction series to Every Singaporean Son, Season 3. This is Episode 6, Bill Camp Part 1. Let's get to it. Our story of Every Singaporean Son. Station, this is Dragon. Come straight over. Field camp is very unpredictable. We can plan for everything, but we also have to expect the unexpected. We're going to stay in the wild. There will be insects bites, the wild animals around. The weather could go against them, it could rain or it could be too hot. These are the experience that they will get in, uh, in these five days. Buddy, you plan first, you plan first. U.S. Army, when I went through in 2003, we called our final FTX or Field Training Exercise Victory Forge. And it was, I think, three days. We had a 10-mile ruck march to our site, and then we went ahead and did our build training for three days. When they come in, it's ready for them to start training, start everything on the get-go. You want faster? Hey, one step, pull! Go. This one you cannot put it this way because face out everyone from that direction can see. Now we do our way. We actually had porta potties at we our have to site. Ensure that the ground is ready for us so that we can carry out the training and it's already safe before we actually move into the actual field camp day. I wouldn't change the white tip. It was supposed to be there. Porter potties aren't always the best though because many people might think this is a menial task, but it's what we have to do to make sure the conduct goes smoothly. But by the time we finished our FTX the last morning, the poop was piled above the rim. So I think in that case a slit trench might have be been better. Most of us already pack our bags, uh, our field bags, like super heavy, uh, but no choice, uh, we have to bring it. Most of us are just really like anxious or nervous. I'm looking forward to building my own tent and sleeping under the stars because I think that will be quite a nice experience, especially in Tekong where the stars are very bright and I can see a lot of them with the trees and out in the open. He's so optimistic. Aww. Oh boy. Isaiah, why are we taping this zip lock there? Oh, because you have to keep the back tight so that there's no excess air and that you will not explode in the back. The more I saw like there were mangroves already and there were like more dense trees with no signs of like urban. I was really just mentally prepping myself. That's some dense jungle. Hey Blender! Come, 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 go, go, go. When we arrived at the site, it started to rain. That just makes everything more miserable. Being wet and hot and sticky and dirty and itchy this is just not a great not start fun. to our field camp. Everyone done? Everyone's done? 
Find a space and just buzz down. Let's go. Everyone go and mask off. Mask off. Helmets off also. Helmets off. Seeing the rain come down, I'm so disappointed. <laughs> I assume it's going to rain on all five days. I just don't know how I'm going to survive that. Take out your 24-hour combat ration. Come on, go and take out first. Once done, go and bring it up. I'm looking forward to the combat rations. Because I, I heard that it's decently good based on YouTube videos. OK, come. I'm going to show you how to eat your combat ration. I will use Ramesh as a demonstration. Okay, next, I need you guys to tear. You can just tear a bit. OK, not even half. Then how you are going to eat this is you are going to, to press and squeeze everything out. Yeah, I'll go and watch. I'll go and watch. Yeah, there. So the US military calls our meals ready to eat MREs. And at basic training, we have different dining facilities near our barracks, and that's where we'll go to eat. However, if you're out in the field, at least in the Army, then we will get either an MRE or we'll get a hot A, like a mermite full of hot food, which was nice. It beat MREs almost any day of the week. But from what it looks like, this is the first time they've ever actually tried a field ration. And I think this is toward the end of their nine weeks. So that just seems kind of odd. So does the Singaporean field ration have a heater in it? But it does not look like they heated up the ration at all. Anyway, if you want to see what's in an American MRE, I have a video on it posted in my description box below. Oh, bad. Uh, so just press from the bottom. And then come out. That looks like the American the MRE entree pretty good. package, actually. I thought that it would actually be quite bad, but honestly, it's, it's actually pretty good. It, it's, it's nice. It's actually nice. Yeah, so Did I just want to welcome you not guys have for spoons? Your field camp. This is your first field camp. Hmm. So let us have a good training. And if you all are facing any troubles, just come to me. Ken? Okay? It is only a couple of hours in a field camp, and I feel a bit down and Aww. discouraged because of the rain. I have four more days to go, and I'm just telling myself. It's going to get better <laughs> as I adapt to it. Yeah. So it's a fighting position. It's a foxhole. I think at the start it was particularly hot, so I was struggling to keep cool. I keep telling myself that the pain will not last forever. It will be gone sooner or later. If the sun is getting too hot, I'll try to bear a bit, drink more water, and grow stronger. <laughs> How is it? Dude, it's legitimately the most tiring thing I've ever done. Yes, building foxholes, it, it sucks. I remember spending hours building a foxhole. So it is my short script. And every These day you would improve it. Sandbags. Sandbag number one is here, sandbag number two is here. This is where I'll rest my body when in prone position. And this depression is where I'll keep my fuel pack. So tonight the sergeant says that we're going to sleep here. And I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. Hey. Okay, it's good already. Your fuel pack layer needs to be deeper. Why not you shape it first? Your third layer is uneven, it's sliding to the ground. Come, I show you. What do you guys call those? See? We call them e tools or entrenching you. tools. Okay, just your fill pack, that's all. And ours can actually fold up Surviving field to make it smaller. Surviving field is a fundamental aspect of being a soldier. The weather is really humid and it's really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. My objective as a sergeant is to teach the recruits how to survive during the field camp. Hopefully, none of them follow. My FTX was the hottest three days of the summer, right, July, we'll Fort smoke. Jackson, South Carolina. Just take <laughs> it was brutal. Very long. Right? Hot and Slowly humid. Deeper. Slowly, your soil is very soft. Take more. Okay. 
bit more. You understand now? Now yeah, work smart, people. Why do they call them shell scrapes? That's what I want now. And I need to expand it a little. Finish the fourth layer there. This is the place where my fuel pack will be. And I think I'll be about done. You can always improve a fighting position. It's never actually done. You can always improve on it. Other than being tired and being hot, drenched in sweat, I think it was an enjoyable experience. La. Being with my section mates, I think we all at that point of time felt a sense of like emergence la, from being civilian to soldier. Okay, what's going to happen now? You're going to be locating off enemy fire. You'll be hearing sounds of the ammunition that's being fired. Okay, and then after that, later you will let me know what kind of burst it is. Deliberate shots, correct? So later, listen. Okay? The sound you'll be able to locate where the enemy is coming from. Clear? Okay, stand by. Next fight, we can start. Copy. Fire! Fire. 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 Come from where? There, huh? What weapon is it? The GPMG, the loudest. Clear? I don't remember I ever doing this situations at basic. Where the recruits get um, the knowledge and skills and put it into practice. So what kind of weapon do you think it is? We had exposure to different, oh, to different weapons, but we never had what directions are coming from. What kind of weapon do you think that is? At least back in 2003, we didn't do that. It's good training, though. It's important to be able to recognize you see, uh, the weapons the that weapon your army that actually fire. uses, so it's that's good. The GPMG and the Ultimax. GPMG, the caliber is 7.62. Understand? It's a bigger caliber of rounds. Okay? As you go over after your BMT, some of you may be trained. Okay? And it's a very good weapon. Clear? Okay, straight away we start. Let them do the fire movement to the front, and then fire movement to the rear, then shot. Okay? Okay, get cup, we start first. I think that doing fire movement is the toughest thing you can do in the jungle because it's like jogging while doing burpees. To add that on, you are carrying some weights, which are your LBS and your rifle. To add on that, you also have to shout to communicate. Okay, ready, ready. So we'll do one all the way. Then after that, we'll start from the starting line, then we'll do another. Yeah, yeah. Contacted, contacted. Contacted, contacted. Hey, Josh, hi! Hi! I think all the trees are of different sizes and are spaced out irregularly, so sometimes I'm not sure if I should be going to a thin tree which provides very little cover. Isaac, your bomb will be your 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10 o'clock. U.S. military, the army, we also practice these kind of individual movement techniques and buddy fires, all these different bounding exercises and drills. And I remember doing a really fun live fire with a buddy where we'd be slowly advancing on the objective with live rounds. And 
kind of dangerous, but it was fun and definitely memorable. So. Wait, wait, don't pop away. Fire. He looks annoyed. I said, give your order first, then you fix. Give your order first, then you remedy. I just don't want to be the weakest link in the fire movement. Communication is very important during these drills. Hey, hey enemy down! I say, advancing! Covering, but you don't have to fire. What? Go la! Bring that advance! <laughs> Did he just flag him? Go! Go! I see a bicycle! Cover me! Cover me! Isaac, you're going to Joshua's bar already. The one on the left. I have probably have tunnel vision and can't quite see the trees on my left or right. So it's very hard for me to pinpoint which tree I should be running to. There's this one. Face for it. Some people are just better at this stuff, in all honesty. To me, the biggest surprise for today is Isaac. Hey, come. Go it has nothing to do with being smart or I know that he can not do it, smart. It's just, somehow he's just sometimes it's tough. Messing up his commands and the drill is not properly done. Yeah, a few pointers. Where they prone, right? If Joshua is proning on my right bow, I'm Isaac. I advance, I don't advance Again, the, the right. more you do it, you it becomes awareness. easier with practice, forward. it becomes because muscle Isaac memory. It's always moving towards Joshua. So at one point of time, they'll be on the same bound. In theory, it's quite simple because you just have to follow the steps. However, when you are placed in the actual jungle, the setting is different and we only have four seconds to scramble to our next tree, so I have to be situationally aware of where I'm going and where I'm heading in an instant. So that placed me out of my comfort zone. That's the point, to put you out of your comfort zone. I mean, you have to learn how to operate outside of your comfort zone. And he did talk about having four seconds to get up and to run. In the US Army, we don't count the seconds per bound. Instead, you just yell out, I'm up, I'm moving, I'm down. Simple and effective, and it's about three or four seconds. What is that green thing on his weapon? Is that an ammo case? Maybe. If you know, please drop it in the comments. Everybody else messes up. So it's really uh, your responsibility la, uh, for each of every one of us to like do it properly. Fire! Fire! Now we don't forget to give command. You're the IC now. Check check your situation. Who left behind? What happened? What should you do next? Group! 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 Elder, advance! Advance! Cover me! 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 This is a good run. I mean, compared to the last one. The stood out the most to me was when we conducted fire movement to the rear. Not only he can carry his own weight, he can also take lead in a group fire movement. He start, did a good job. He wouldn't do really well, but to my surprise, it went pretty all right. Nabil, give your experience to the section. Is it hard or stuff to be icy or this? Uh, make sure you're at the correct tree, la, because a lot, of, a lot of us go to the wrong tree, or the wrong bound. So just be wary of that. La. So long as you got uh, some, some sort of cover behind the tree, it'll be okay. Go into the shed down there and spread yourself. Move. Okay, again? If 
visit the Tatsaya Kemo, go and Tatsaya Kemo. Even though like maybe some of us really don't want to be here, but in the end, we all are together in this. Lah. What you're going to see later is the trip flare. The use of the trip flare is for ambush, an element of surprise for the enemy. Okay. The moment, uh, Warren Mohan gave me the thumbs up. I uh, also deactivate. Make sure you pull. You must feel the ring coming out first. Pull, one shot. Okay. okay. Don't pull too hard, but make sure you must have the momentum. Okay. Can? To show the true effect of the trip flare, we are all gathered here at the harboring area, waiting for nightfall. When it's time, I will ignite the trip flare. These are this. I don't do this for in the company, you know. These <laughs> are. Oh, wow. I have never seen that before. We got exposed to US weapons at basic, but we never saw a trip flare. That is so cool. That was a really cool 40 seconds for me. And not all of those who witnessed the trip flare. Oh, that's fun. Okay, let it cool down. I believe that fuel camp is a rite of passage for all of us. If I do not go through the whole fuel camp, I feel that BMT will be lacking a very important part. Week after week, we grow stronger and become more resilient. So I want to carry on, carry on with my friends who are also persevering and enjoy the experience together. It's been 11 months since I completed my basic military training and I'm now undergoing a trainer qualification course at BMTC to become a BMT trainer. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe that one recruit with the glasses who said he has tunnel vision, I think it was him who was talking during the end credits saying how he graduated basic training and how he's now going to school to become a BMT instructor. The US military, you would never see that. We want seasoned NCOs, the best of the best, to be the ones teaching our recruits. I'm not saying that Singapore's way of doing it is wrong or inefficient. I'm just saying that that is just one difference between the US military and the Singapore military. That being said, once the next episode is filmed, I'll put it right here. Until then, you'll find another good video. And over here is where I have my MRE video. Thanks for watching. Please smash that like button.